Hello guys, so welcome back to our lecture 17. We're gonna now take examples, solve circuit examples with transistors. A new device, the second device basically that we learn it or that we learn in this in this course. Okay. This device has three terminals, not two, like the diode. Okay, but we learned how to deal with it, either in the active region or saturation region, and also we learned an equivalent circuit for the transistor. Basically, this equivalent circuit means you can just remove, you know, the, the transistor uh, symbol and just put this, you know, equivalent circuit and deal with it. So we have two examples, as you see in the screen, on the screen here. So basically, they are, very similar. I just removed this, uh, you know, uh, this, uh, uh, or replace this resistor with with the current with with the current source. That's it. So basically, the difference between both is the current source and the resistor. Okay. Let's start by the current source version, and we're gonna see, you know, very interesting stuff when we switch to the other one. So uh, it says in the uh, problem here is that the transistor is working in the active. Okay, so find VCE and VBE. So first, where is uh, the terminals of the transistors? This is basically the base. This is the emitter, and this is the collector. And this is an NBN transistor, remember, because, uh, you know, the arrow is going out of the emitter, as we learn it. And this, resist this transistor has a beta of 100, and IS, the saturation current, is 10 to the power minus 15 amperes. Okay. And it's an active region, good. So we know that IB is going into the symbol like this, right? So it looks like we know basically uh, IB because look at the circuit. So this current source here, you know, which is 10 micro amperes is basically IB. It's flowing in the same, same branch. So same current. So IB, Basically, 10 microamperes. We don't need to replace the transistor with any equivalent circuit to know that. You know, it's the same wire. And we know that IC, which is going into the collector here. Again, we don't need to replace the transistor to know that with any equivalent circuit or any model is equal to beta IB since we are working in the active region. So I see equal to 100 times 10 microamperes. This is basically 1,000 micro is 1 milliamperes. We can continue, as I said, we, we, we don't need basically to replace a transistor with any equivalent circuit. But just, I said, we're gonna do that for these two examples that after, but afterwards I'm not, I will not, you know, do that again. Because really it's easy to work. You don't need basically, you know, equivalent circuit. It's really easy to work with the symbol, but let's do that. Let's replace the transistor by uh, the transistor equivalent circuit. So we, we uh, the procedure is to put first the terminals of the transistor and the equivalent circuit, then connect the rest of the circuit. So we have three terminals as usual. We have the base, we have the collector, we have here the emitter. You have between the base and the emitter, you have the BE junction with voltage VBE basically, because this is base, this is emitter, you know, it's a voltage difference between two terminals, B and, A, B and E, base and the emitter. And you have between the base and the, uh, I'm sorry, the emitter and the collector, you have this current source, IC naught, IS exponential, VBE over VT. It's a, a current source independent from its voltage terminals. I mean C and D, but dependent on VBE and other terminals, other terminals. And it's open between the base and the collector because J2, the junction between the base and the collector is open. It's off. Good. Now we connect the rest of the circuit. What we have here, so between the base and uh, this battery, this, 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 there is uh, a voltage here, five volt battery, there is a current source. So we're gonna imagine this is for example, it's a five volt node, and this is the current source. 
and the current source produces the current, the, 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 the directions are really important, very important. Going into the base like this, 10 micro amps. And remember, this is IB going into the base. This is IC going to the collector. This is IE going out of the emitter. Good. So whenever you you put you uh, you draw something from the circuit, just you know hash it or something, your or mark it. That that means we already did. So you don't need you don't do it again. Then between the collector and the five volts, there is RC. Look, we can. You don't need to you know connect the collector to this five volt. You can just create another node called the five volt, and put the RC here. Is this possible? Yeah, we, we knew from our circuit analysis uh, course that whenever you have two nodes in a circuit that have the same voltage, you can connect them to each other, you know? You know by default that they are connected. You don't need to put a wire between them. They are connected. You don't need to put a wire. So basically this node and this node are just shorted. Just forget about it. Don't, don't draw a wire. Don't mess up the, the blot here, the circuit blot. Good. So we, we bought also the resistor. Now the emitter is connected to the ground. That's really easy. Here is the ground here. That's it. We don't need anything else. Now where is IB? Uh, I'm sorry. Where is the, uh, this is IB guys. This is not IC, I'm sorry. Now where is uh, VBE? Where is VCE? Remember the, the, the unknowns here are VCE and VBE. Okay, VBE. Voltage between base and the emitter. This is the base. This is the emitter. So this is basically VB. I draw it before. Where is VCE? The voltage between the, the collector and the emitter. This guy. This is VCE. This are, these are our unknowns. Okay. And this node here is VC. This node here is VE. This node here is VB. Looks like VCE, which is basically VC minus VE, is equal to VC minus zero because VE is zero. It's connected to ground. Good. So VCE is just VC. If you calculate VC, then you just you got v, uh, VCE basically. Good. VB is the same. VBE again is VB minus VE. VB minus zero, VB. Again, if you if you get VB, you get VB. Can we get VB? Yeah, can we get VB? Yes. So we know that IC equal to IS exponential VBE over VT. This is what we learned. In that equation here, VT is known, IS is known, IC is known. VT is basically the thermal voltage, it's constant. You can, since, since the temperature is not, of course it's dependent on the temperature, but since the temperature is not given, then you can consider it freely that it's, uh, you know, the nominal temperature, the room temperature, yeah, 300 degree Kelvin. So VT will be 26 or 25 millivolt. Now we are studying from Cedra book, you know, so we, we studied the diode part from uh, Razavi's book. Now we are studying from Cedra's book. In Cedra's book, usually it as, he assumes uh, VT is 25 millivolt, okay? So we're gonna go with that. We're gonna go with the 25 millivolt. So here, from that equation, VBE is basically VT ln IC over IS, okay? So we can calculate VBE basically. It will be uh, 600, let me check here. Yeah. Uh, 6097, I'm sorry. 690.7 volt, Mill, I'm sorry, millivolt, millivolt. Which is 0 0.69 volt, that's, that's what I mean. Which is really close to 0.7 as I said in the, in the beginning. We said from the beginning that usually when we are working in the active region, VBE will be between 0.6 to 0.8, just like the diode. 
and that's a kind of proof here, although it's a weak proof, it's, it's just an example, but yeah, it is something that we found all the time. Now we find VBE basically. Okay, it's time now for VCE. Remember this branch here has a current which is IC. So let's look at that branch. IC equal to, from that branch, equal to five minus VC, this point, over RC. Usually we call the resistance between the collector and the voltage, this maximum voltage in the battery, this battery voltage here five, we call it RC. And also, you know, we always call this voltage VCC. The main battery source, the main voltage source, the main power source in our circuit, in BGT circuits, usually called VCC. IC is known, remember, one milliampere. It's beta IB. IB is 10 micro, beta is 100. So I see is 1,000 micro, it's one milli. So five minus VC and RC is also known. I think it's three kilograms. Yes, three kilograms. Three kilo ohms, I'm sorry. So remember, your current is in milli, your resistor is in kilo, so it just keeps them like this. Don't convert it to amperes and, uh, and ohms. The kilo will cancel the milli all the time, okay? So from that, VC will be two volt or 2000 millivolt. Why I convert, why convert it to millivolt? Milli because basically VBE is in milli as well. Sometimes it will be useful to do that like this. Sometimes you use them both in volt or both in millivolt. So this is in volt will be six, nine or seven. Okay. Whatever you, you, you use, I mean, if you find it more convenient, use milli, use milli. If you find it more convenient to use volt, use volt. Since we get VC, we know that VCE is basically equal to VC. So this is basically 2000 millivolt or two volt. We finished the problem. But I will do just one more step, although it's not relevant. I mean, we just find our unknowns. We, we said all the time that in active region, the base collector junction is reverse. The base collector junction is reverse. So let's verify this now. So how we can verify that a junction is reverse? Just to calculate its voltage, its voltage difference or voltage drop. So G2 voltage, which is basically VBC. Remember, this is NDN transistor. So the base is B, the collector is N. So this is basically B, this is basically N. If this is off, it should be reverse or less than 0.4, you know? So this is basically VB minus VC. What is VB? It is uh, 0.6, or let's, yeah, six, uh, 690, 0.7. What is VC? It's 2000 millivolt. This is basically minus 1,300, around 1,310, around. Or 300, oh yeah, 1309.3 one, millivolt. In minus, of course. Look, it's minus. That means the voltage on the B side is less than the voltage on the N side. So it is, uh, it is reverse bias, reverse biased junction. G2 is reverse. That's just a verification that we are really in the active region. Okay, guys, that was it for this example. In the next video, we're gonna solve another example, which is basically the same example, but I replaced the current source, which would make, which just removes one of our unknowns, which is IB, with a resistor. Now IB is not known, like here. Here from the beginning, IB is the micro -embers. But now, no. Now we cannot say this. We don't know. Okay? And that will complicate stuff. 
and we will need to make some iterative solution. So let's do that in the next video. Thank you very much for watching this and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.